sponsored by Local Orthodontics. Once again, it is time for Junior Chef Teen Edition here in the Daytime Kitchen. And today I want to welcome Rose Honeycutt to the Hello, Daytime Kitchen. Hello, I'm super excited to are be you, here. Are you fired up? Yes, I'm so excited. <laughs> good, good. What are you going to be doing for us okay, today? Okay, so today I'm going to be making a summer fruit smoothie bowl for you. Okay. Is this something you've done before? Yes, so I usually make this in the morning. Okay. I really like these because they're filling, but then I also feel like they make me refreshed, like yeah. I can go work out, right. and it won't give me any sort of cramps because I'm not that full. Okay, very good. It's light, it's summertime, yeah, you, want something, you want something cooling and refreshing. So absolutely. how do we get started on these? Right, so I'm going to begin with cutting up a couple fruits and vegetables okay. to start off here. So I usually like bananas because they keep, Love bananas. The, um, they keep the bowl pretty thick. Right. And that's what you like when you're making a smoothie bowl. You're you, getting your potassium in there too? Absolutely. You mm -hmm. want these to be... I'd I usually like these smooth, uh, thicker than a regular smoothie. Okay. Only because when you're eating them with a spoon, you don't really want it to be right. like... Right. You don't want it runny. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. So you're going to cut that up. Now, you're a rising senior. Yes, sir. And you're actually getting ready to head off to the uh, to the Naval Academy for a trip. Yes, sir. I am leaving on Sunday, actually. I'm flying up there out of yeah. Asheville. I'm pretty excited. Cool. It's going to be like a day in the life of how plebes and midshipmen would right. live up there. So I'm excited. Now, is that part of maybe your future? Hopefully, if I like it. It's definitely okay. going to be a new experience for okay. me. I'm going to be placed with um, some... Some roommates. I think I'm either going to have one or two. All right. So, awesome. yeah. Now, is cooking something you enjoy? Do you like being in the kitchen? I do. It's definitely something new for me. I haven't mm -hmm. always been in the kitchen. I, I usually help my dad with dinners and, like, cutting up vegetables. That's usually my forte. You're like the sous chef. Yes, okay. absolutely. <laughs> so we got some banana. What yeah. else are we going to be putting okay. in? Okay. Next, I'm going to start cutting up some strawberries. That's another go-to in my smoothies. All right. And this is the time of year for great strawberries. Yes. yes. Like, these are those massive are, strawberries. Yes, they are big strawberries. <laughs> so it won't take many of those So because they're so big. Yeah. Do you, you know, when we talk about uh, when you're at school, when you're you, you, making sure you can do everything you need to do. I know, I know I have two sons in school and everything. Things get hectic. And to have something like this as a go-to, for, especially for breakfast, is very important. Right. And I also love these little smoothie things I have. They right. usually make one helping. And they're about like $15, not expensive at all. Right. And the lid of them has like a little sip on it. So it's like yeah. a cup. So you can make so you can smoothie you can actually grab there. and go if you need to. Absolutely. They're mm -hmm. Quick and easy to make, especially right before school when I'm running out the door. Because sometimes I have an, you know, an issue with sleeping in, as most teenagers do. <laughs> I so. do, I do know that to be a fact. Yes. Especially since school is out. So, are you excited for your senior year? I'm very excited. I am definitely trying to figure out what I want to do and figuring out what colleges and okay. all that sort of stuff. But. All right. Yeah, I'm very excited. So, okay, you've got some strawberries cut up. You've got the yes. bananas cut up. And I know, I look over here, and you've got a lot of other different right. fruits. And you've got some granola and some right. coconut as well. Yeah, so I like to also put frozen fruits in yes. this because it also adds to the thickness You don't have to value. put ice in there if you put frozen food. Exactly. And yeah. I know a lot of people stray away from fresh fruits and vegetables or right. and it usually go towards junk food or processed food because it is cheaper right. and absolutely but when you um shop especially with frozen fruits yes it will eventually end up saving you a lot of money because oh. i work at chick-fil-a and i was realizing that i was spending <laughs> a lot of my paycheck on breakfast there every morning because duncan's usually on my way to school so when i started making these yeah. i ended up saving saving myself honestly awesome. a good bit amount of money yeah. so you're going to put this in the blender yes sir. and we're going to come back here in just a little while for our, for our next segment you're going to show you're going to blend this all together and show us how to put together these bowls which we've got right out here folks it is junior chef teen edition rose honeycut we'll be back here in just a few moments the preceding portion of daytime tri-cities was sponsored by local orthodontics